Today's an exciting day. We're gonna warp our looms. That is putting these up and down strings on that we're going to weave through. And we might possibly get a little weaving started. We'll see how the warping goes. Good luck. The first thing we're gonna do is practice tying a knot with one string. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do is make a loop. Then you're gonna pick up your loop and tuck this one tail under and then you're gonna pull it tight. Okay, so that's my knot. That's very important because um, you're gonna need it to tie it on when you warp your threads. You also will need to know how to tie a knot with two. So we're gonna do the same thing um, with two ends. So like, say you just finished weaving and you need another color but I have the same, but that's okay. You might have one color and the other color, or maybe you ran out of one color and you need to join these two. So you're gonna have two. You're gonna make your loop. And then you're gonna take one. The important thing is that you're crossing over this one. So whether you're picking it up and sticking it under, which is what I did the first time, or let's say you made your loop and you take the one that's underneath you can cross over the top and pull it through. Okay, if I do this and then tuck it under, what's gonna happen? It's not gonna make a knot. So if you have that happen, you know you have to cross over the one that's on top. Okay, this is our loom. We're gonna warp our looms. Um, that's what it's called when you put the strings on. So the first thing you're gonna do, another important thing for tying a knot is to make sure that you have enough yarn. If you have a teeny tiny, notice I had a big thing of yarn when I was showing you guys. If you have a little tiny piece of yarn, you can still do it, but it's a lot trickier and any smaller than that um, is really hard, okay? So you make your loop. This one's on top, so I'm gonna go under here and I'm gonna pull it tight. And you know what, you can go ahead and do two just to make sure it doesn't pop off. Now, in a lot of ways, this is simple. and In a lot of ways, it's really tricky. So um, pay close attention. And if your friends aren't getting it next to you, help them out. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go directly below the one that you tied a knot on and you're gonna loop around. I think it's kind of easy if you put your finger on it, hold it, hold it, keep it from popping off. So here's the trick guys. It needs to be kind of tight. So you kind of want to pull it tight. You don't want to pull it so tight that this pops off, but you're gonna kind of need to keep it pulled tight as you go. And you can use your other hand to hold the strings down can put your hand here to keep it tight. Now, the things you want to watch out for is you don't want to skip one. See how I skipped one? So if you skip one, you have to go back. And see how I'm holding my finger here to keep it from all getting loose. Now, what if you accidentally get, this happened to me a bunch. See how that has two, we gotta undo that. So I'm gonna hold my finger here to hold it tight. I think putting your finger on it as you go is a really good way to make sure it stays nice and tight. So remember you're pulling tight. Pretty simple, the trickiest thing is keeping it lined up and keeping it nice and tight. Okay, so now here's my last one, but remember, you need to have a lot of, I'd rather you have a lot of extra yarn than not enough. So you definitely don't wanna cut it right here. Let's just cut it a long ways down to make sure that you've got enough. So now, now here's the tricky part, cause you have to hold it tight while you tie your knot. Okay, so I'm gonna hold my finger here. 
and loop it around. This is where maybe we can get a friend to help us. So while you can have a friend put their finger to hold that tight there. So while they have their finger there, you're gonna loop this around, put it under this one, and pull it tight. And then you can hold, have them hold it here. Pull it tight. Once you get that one down, we're gonna do one more. Make a loop, put this end through, and pull it tight. It looks easy, but you guys, the trickiest part is we have to keep these tight. So we can work in teams to help hold down the yarn, or you can just have a teammate help you when you tie your last knot. Good luck. At the end, we will trim these though. And now you will have a warped loom ready to start weaving. When you're ready to start weaving, you're just gonna go do an over under pattern. So I went under this one, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And I'm gonna keep going over and under all the way to the end. Now I'm gonna pull it through. I'm actually gonna go ahead and tie a little knot here on the end by making a loop. Pulling it through. Okay, so I've got my first row. Now it's time to turn the corner. What you're gonna do is make a little cheese wedge when you go through. So I ended on under. So now I'm gonna start, I have to start the opposite. If I start on under, I'll show you what happens because I ended on under. If I start on under, it's just gonna pull through. And if you do a lot that way, the whole thing will just pull right out. So I end on under, that means I start on over. So I'm gonna go over under, go and say it with me, over, under, over, under. Now when I've got a few in, I wanna start pulling it. And you don't wanna just pull it straight through like this, because that will start to pull the whole thing in. So what you wanna do, pull it until you have a little cheese wedge here. See how it's a little wedge? And then, Instead of pulling it, you just smush it down. And then when you keep going, it'll look nice and straight and you'll be making a nice blanket. Otherwise, it will look like an hourglass. So I'm just gonna keep, pick up where you left off. And if you're not sure, if you take a pause for a minute, you just have to look at the last one. This one's under, so this one is over. So this one ends on over. So how does my next one start? If you said under, you're correct. And then you want to get your cheese wedge. So do a couple. And then when you pull it, leave your wedge and then squish it down. Okay, now let's see, I'm at the end. I'm getting close. I mean, I still have a bunch, but it's easier to tie a knot when you have a lot, remember? So I have my new string, all right, side by side, that we're gonna make the loop. And then the top, the string on top is gonna go underneath, pull through and pull it tight. And then we can trim this later too. You don't want to trim it so close that it comes off. Now you're going to start weaving with the end of your new string. So this ended with under, so I'm going to go over, under. And then 
then see when you pull it through, it still ends up being that color. And this ended with under, so I'm gonna start with over. Pull through, leaving your cheese wedge. And hold your finger there and then smush it down. And then you're just gonna keep, keep going. <laughs> 